In this video you will learn how to configure the SolarEdge Home Inline Meter. We'll start by showing you how to configure the meter if you have SolarEdge Home Network wireless connection. Then, we'll demonstrate how configuration should be done in case you have RS485 connection. Let's begin from the main commissioning screen. Tap Device Manager. As you can see the SolarEdge Home Inline Meter is already pre-selected. Now tap Add Devices. Adding devices may take up to 30 seconds. Next, firmware will be updated. Note that in case of upgrade, the inline meter will be automatically upgraded to the latest firmware. Firmware is now updated. Tap continue. Now we configure the SolarEdge Home inline meter. Tap configure. Note that default meter function and AC grid connection are export import and top respectively. In case you need to change parameters, select the drop-down menu to select the desired configuration. Note that meter function and AC grid connection should reflect the physical wiring and position of the meter in the electrical cabinet. Tap Set and View Status. The meter status screen enables the installer a quick view of the meter operation per phase, voltage, current, and power readings that are presented, as well as the export or import directions. Tap Done. The inline meter has been configured successfully and ready for use. If you wish to change its configuration or view the status just tap on the inline meter and you'd be directed to the meter configuration screen. Now, let's go through the configuration process in a case you have RS485 connection. Start by configuring the inline meter Modbus ID through its LCD screen using the meter's push buttons. Push any button to show the default screen. Enter the configuration menu by pushing any button to view the password screen and set it to 1231. From the main menu, select Modbus ID. The default address is set to 2. If different setting is used, make sure you configure the inverter accordingly. From the main menu, select RS485 term. The default RS485 termination is on. Configure the RS485 termination according to the meter's location on the RS485 bus. Next, go to the main commissioning screen on Set App and choose Site Communication. Tap RS4851 Modbus, Multi Device. Now, tap Add Modbus Device. Then, tap Meter. Now, tap Meter 1 to start configuration. In case you need to change configuration parameters, use the arrows at the right hand side and the drop down menu to configure. Now, configure the parameters. Note that meter function and AC grid connection should reflect the physical wiring and position of the meter in the electrical cabinet. Device ID should reflect the meter ID which is set through the inline meter display settings. Now, tap view status. The meter status screen enables the installer a quick view of the meter operation per phase, voltage, current, and power readings that are presented, as well as the export or import directions. Last step, tap done and you have your inline meter successfully installed. For more information about the SolarEdge Home Inline Meter, visit our website and our YouTube channel.